Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is another all day whole house clean with me. I was actually cleaning in preparation for Rowan's fourth birthday party which was actually last weekend by the time you guys are seeing this video but she had a Halloween costume party and it was so much fun. She had the best day. I will be sharing the after party cleanup in next week's video so definitely watch out for that one but for today's video I really wanted to just get my entire house cleaned for everyone that was coming over for the party. I don't know about you guys but I am the type of person that if we are having people over my house needs to look like no one lives here. Everything has to be cleaned and put away and just as picture perfect as I can possibly get it with three kids. You will have to let me know down below if you are the same way. I am starting in the kitchen and the dining room and then we will be making our way upstairs to tackle the playroom and all of the bedrooms, but I hope you enjoy today's video and it gives you tons of motivation. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight cause I am falling. I'm so like usual when I am cleaning the kitchen I like to get all of the countertops cleaned off and wiped down before we put away the clean dishes from the dishwasher and load it back up with all of the dirty dishes but the machine that I am moving here is actually an icing machine for Justin's knee if you guys did miss last week's video I did mention that Justin had hurt his knee playing basketball he believes he tore something either his ACL or his LCL we're not sure Sure, he is actually getting an ultrasound today so hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video we have some answers so he can move on to the healing process and really knowing what's going on luckily he is now walking without crutches he is limping quite a bit but he is able to walk on it which is a relief he is a little bit uncomfortable and still in pain but he is getting better with each day yeah, keep can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be your light Ooh, Be your light Ooh, I'll be your light Ooh, If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be this is your first time here on my channel hello and welcome my name is Aaliyah and I am a mom of three young kids I have a five four and one year old so things are super busy and crazy around here I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday here on my channel where I just share the real life messes that come along with being a mom and keeping a home so I really hope you enjoy my content and can find it relatable and super motivating if you do enjoy these types of videos I would love for you to consider subscribing down below before you leave and if you are not yet following me over on Instagram and would like to follow me on more of a daily basis definitely head over there to follow me on Instagram as well I did post a sneak peek of Rowan's party and our costumes and everything else going on recently in our life so I would love to have you over there as well
Before moving on to cleaning the dining room, I was really wanting to clean the door to my pantry. It's really hard to tell from these clips, but it was so dirty. My kids and my dogs are constantly touching these doors. So as you can imagine, there is quite a lot of fingerprints and dirt built up on here. I am just using a magic eraser for this. It worked wonderfully. And a good tip with the magic erasers is always cut them in half because I feel like it's very rare that you need a full magic eraser and it just helps you make them go further. Dry all right. I'm not even worried, but I can't hear the sirens you describe. Don't be ashamed. We can't always leave this place and go where no one knows our name. While I was in the dining room, I did want to decorate my little dining room hutch with some Halloween decor. This was in preparation for Rowan's party, but also I do want to start decorating for Halloween now that my kids are a little bit older and they really enjoy this kind of stuff. I bought this adorable wreath at Michael's and then the rest of the decor I did have around the house from years previous. I did end up decorating quite a bit more around the house in the upcoming week before the party and I will be sharing that in next week's video. In an uphill struggle, no regrets and windows down, 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 down. I am super excited that today's video is sponsored by Care Of. If you are unfamiliar with their company, Care Of is a subscription supplement service that makes it super easy to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. You take the quiz online to address your concerns, your diet, and your health goals, and they will provide you with personalized daily vitamins to address your needs and your goals. They also come in these perfect little daily packets, which are so cute and super convenient. Now that summer is over, I am really wanting to get back into a routine and really start focusing on keeping myself and my body as healthy as I can. I am back to working out and eating healthier and keeping up on my vitamins and care of makes it super easy to stay on top of that. Being a busy mom of three, I have struggled with consistency when it comes to self-care, which has never gotten me the results I have wanted, but now with Care Of, I find it so much easier to follow a routine and stick to it since I do get the daily dose of vitamins in a single package and I look forward to taking these every single day. If you are looking to make a beneficial change to your daily routine, Care Of is a great place to start. Just click my link down below and take care of quiz to find out what is recommended for you and use my code aliam 50 for 50% 50 off your first order. Like I mentioned, I don't have a ton of Halloween decor, but I was kind of just working with what I did have, and I feel like this space ended up being really cute. I kind of went with blacks and oranges and purples, and my kids really liked it, and that's all that matters. I also decided to put this little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin in my bathroom on my main floor and I feel like he looks really good in here. And the last thing we're going to be doing on the main floor is just vacuuming the dining room and the kitchen before we head upstairs.
wanted to quickly show you guys this Disney Halloween set I got. This was at Costco and it is so cute. I ended up putting this on my fireplace mantle in my living room and I will show you guys in next week's video once it's all lit up and set up and I really love this thing. Disney and any holiday piece of decor is right up my alley. Tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. All my friends reassure that it's obvious. And the maybe so to get us started upstairs, I am going to be starting in the master bedroom. I do not like when my dresser is this cluttered. It drives me crazy. So that's the first area we're going to be tackling is just decluttering this space. I'm also going to be clearing off the nightstands and the TV stands. We're going to be dusting all the furniture and vacuuming. And I did end up getting into a little bit more of deep cleaning in the sense that I did go through and wipe down all of the baseboards. And I'm going to be scrubbing the doors up here as well. Since I noticed the pantry door downstairs was so dirty, I found myself looking at all of the doors to see what needed to be cleaned and my master bedroom doors needed some serious cleaning so we're going to be tackling that as well but I gotta try. cleaning the baseboards I'm not using any cleaner I am just using my microfiber cloth and just wiping them down I will show you guys the cloth here and show you how much dirt I was able to get off of these even though they really didn't look that dirty it's crazy how much dirt is sitting on them and then for the doors I am just using the other half of the magic eraser that I used downstairs for the pantry door Wait a second, I don't need you Then why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better, wait a second I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head Maybe stare too much cause you don't understand Like I'm brand new The 
just ignoring Still it feels just like I'm waiting Instead of moving into the kids' rooms to get started in their bedrooms, I did just want to switch gears and get started in the playroom first. This was one of the rooms I was dreading the most for cleaning. It is such a disaster in here, so I knew I would just feel a lot better getting it done now. Another reason I wanted to get the playroom done now was just in case I didn't get anything else done, at least this room was done. I do usually leave the playroom till the end of the night once the kids have went to bed. I used to love just doing a 10 minute tidy up in here to just reset for the next day, but lately I have just been so exhausted by the time the kids go to bed that it has just been taking a seat on the back burner and not getting done, and then it just accumulates and gets to the point where it's overwhelming. So I wanted to get this done earlier in the day so I knew it would be done. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. No, it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh. Justin and I have already purchased our Halloween costumes for this year. Like I mentioned, Rowan's birthday was a costume party, so that was a big reason we got some new costumes this year, but we do also really enjoy dressing up with the kids. So I'm curious and wanted to just do a fun poll down below. Do you dress up for Halloween or do you leave the dressing up for the kids? There, of course, is no wrong answer. I would love to do a family-themed costume, but unfortunately, I feel like we have officially already missed that mark because with Grayson being five and Rowan being four they already just want to do their own things and are not interested in my ideas. Now that everything is picked up and wiped down, we are just going to go through and vacuum all of the carpet in here. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my destiny. the rest cuz i'm a mess no more you 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 and i go oh you said things could only get better i need it more than ever they go go how can i believe Everything is secret, secret 
I have mentioned it before, but I will say it again. The playroom is always one of my least favorite rooms to clean. It is just so tedious and time consuming, but it is definitely one of my favorites to have clean. I absolutely love the way it looks when it is clean and it is just such a cozy room. It must be nice you went and got a penthouse all your friends Party in this real loud Brand new money with a brand new chest Still a baby bird fries straight off the nest like you Now we are moving on into the kids' bedrooms and we are going to get started in Grayson and Rowan's shared room. As you can see, there are toys and stuffed animals everywhere in here. So my very first thing I was wanting to do in here was just getting everything out of the room that doesn't belong in here and just picking everything up off the floor. Oh, how can I believe you when everything is secret, secret? Things could only get better. I need it more than ever. They don't, don't, don't. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know we have had plans to switch our bedrooms around for the kids. We want to put Grayson in the other bedroom by himself and we're going to put both of the girls in this bedroom. We planned on doing that after we finished our patio outside, which we got done this summer. So now it's time for the bedroom swap. But now I'm kind of throwing around the idea to finish our formal dining room downstairs before we do the bedrooms. The reason I am thinking of doing the dining room first is because it is our last room in the house that isn't finished. So after we get that room done, our house is finally complete and then the bedroom is more of a fun update and something we're wanting to do. You guys will have to let me know what you would do down below. I will say my kids are starting to drive me nuts having the same bedroom because one of them will wake up early and wake the other up and that's pretty much every morning now they're waking each other up constantly and it's driving me a little nuts so I am looking forward to getting the two bigger kids out of a shared bedroom but I really want to do the formal dining room. The last room I was wanting to get done today was Quinn's room so we're moving on into here and I just want to do the same thing in here that I did in the other bedrooms. I want to get everything picked up off of the floor and just everything out of here that does not belong in here. We're going to be cleaning off all of the furniture and vacuuming the carpets.
last thing I was wanting to do today before I put the kids to bed was just folding and putting this load of laundry away. This laundry has been sitting in the hallway for the last day or two, so I thought this would be the perfect time to finally get it taken care of. So I'm just putting the laundry into piles between the girls' stuff and Grayson's stuff. I'm throwing all of Grayson's clothes into the laundry basket to take over to his room and then just sorting through Quinn and Rowan's things. I do still keep all of Rowan's clothes in this room, but she does share the room with Grayson. And those are the kind of things I am excited to switch around when we switch the bedrooms where she will sleep in the same room that her clothes are. And I just like things to flow and have a little bit more consistency, I guess. So I can't wait to get it done. But like I said, I do think I'm going to do the dining room first or maybe I'll do it all at the same time because I feel like I am bad for that. I won't do anything and then I will tackle everything at the same time. This ended up being a very long day of cleaning and I was so ready to wind down for the night. So right after I was finished putting all of these clothes away, I ended up putting all of the kids to bed at 7.30 sharp and then Justin and I actually crawled into bed ourselves and watched a couple hours of TV together. It was the perfect way to end a busy day, but thank you guys so much for being here and watching today's video. I appreciate it more than you know. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment and I will see you all next Friday with a new video. I'm really excited about next week's video because it is the after party cleanup and I do share some new decorations and actually I do show my formal dining room which I don't show very often so I'm excited for that one and I will see you guys all in next week's video.